everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. I didn't get as much reading as I wanted to get done this month, so here for the last week, we are going to be doing movie week. So some of my favorite recent new horror movies, I will not be talking about any of the Halloweens, um, but uh, today we're going to be talking about Hellraiser. And if you're worried about book reviews, any more book reviews? I have one more coming for the final day of the month on Halloween. I will be reviewing uh, Adam Cesar's Clown in the Cornfield 2. I'm currently reading that. I'm almost done. And I wish there was more book reviews to give you. I just don't. I just didn't have time. So, anyways, I watched the new Hellraiser. Uh, it is available, I believe, on Hulu. Um, it is... Here's... The, for the too long didn't watch, the TLDW here... Um, I like the first Hellraiser. I like the second Hellraiser. I like pretty much all of the Hellraisers. And I, I tell people that all the time, and they're like, oh, what about the... Uh, now, I have to do. I have to add this. I love all the Bradley Hellraisers. Uh, Judgment and Revelations, I think. I didn't like either one of those. But I liked all the other ones with Bradley well enough. This one is my favorite Hellraiser since Part 2. If I had to do a listicle, um, it would probably be my third favorite. Um, right after one and two, um, my previously in the third spot it was Hellraiser Bloodlines because I do love a bit of wackiness in space. I love Leprechaun in space, Critters in space, uh, Jason X, Jason Ten, whatever Jason in space. I love that whole subgenre, um, and the cheesier the better. Not that Bloodlines was uber cheesy, but it had some really cheesy moments. You can't go to space without throwing some cheese in there. That's that's how I feel. Um, I'm also uh, a big fan of horror movies that don't take themselves too seriously. Um, it's, it either has to be super dark and serious for me, or it has to be cheesy to the point of comedy. Um, now... Going back to talking about uh, Hellraiser, this new one, I believe the uh, person who plays uh, Pinhead is Jamie Moulton. I probably should have researched that. Did a fantastic job. I have no complaints, whatever, about their uh, performance. I enjoyed it. I loved it. In fact, I don't really have too many complaints. I don't have any <laughs> complaints. Now, the more that I think about it, I don't really have any complaints. Um, I think the uh, all of the staples of the series are there. Um, did they improve anything? No. Um, did they make anything worse? No. I like the new puzzle box. I like the new configurations. I liked all of that stuff. Um, I love the cold open. You know, having that uh, that scene right there, right off the bat, was you know really it, it pleased me as a as a horror fan. Um, and the way they kind of kept it hidden. Um, the way uh, Pinhead and the uh, Cenobites were not in it a whole hell of a lot. The clicker and the the one with the, the hands, the hands come, those two really bothered me. Like, I've never been scared uh, or frightened by any of the Cenobite designs. Cenobite. <laughs> Anyways, I've never been, uh, you know, they, they've never upset me. But those two, the clicker, the one with the chattery teeth and uh, the black lady, those two, whew. anyways, those those two were absolutely horrifying. I love their designs. I will, uh, I do want to talk about one thing, and that is people are saying the Cenobites look, uh, look plastic, they look fake, so on and so forth. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I liked the way they looked. Um, I saw Bracken McCloud said it's the tamest of all the Hellraiser movies. Um, and I, or it's the, I don't know, the most clinical or whatever. I can't, I, I don't want to misquote him, but, uh, that's paraphrasing anyways. Um, and I don't know. I, I really, really liked this one. I think it was brutal. I think it was very well done. Uh, there was some, there was one thing that Duncan Ralston said that I kind of agree that, that I actually not kind of, I completely agree with was the characters, the victims were more interesting than any of the Cenobites. So I don't know what I'm having a problem saying Cenobite. Is that right? Now my brain, you know when you say a word so many times it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't sound right anymore? Is now I'm thinking of like Cinnabites. Like cinnamon bites. What 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 restaurant had that? Anyways, maybe I'm just hungry. But that's my review of Hellraiser. 
I don't know. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, top three for me out of the entire franchise, but I have very weird tastes. So if you have watched Hellraiser yourself, the new one, let me know down there in the doobly-doo where it stacks up, where it ranks for you in the franchise. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.